good morning to one and all. I'd like to present the output of our collaboration with the School of uh, Education in the Office of uh, Media and International Affairs entitled Marindo Canon for Local History and Cultural Literacy Dictionary. So I am Randy Noblesa from the School of Arts and Sciences. Uh, re I am the Research and Extension Coordinator and I'd like to share with you uh, salient findings during this uh, fifth School of Arts and Sciences Research Colloquium. So for today, uh, my presentation flow is uh, going to start with a uh, broad uh, introduction and I'm going to zero in with the materials and methods that was studied and I'm going to share with you the important uh, results and I'd like to discuss some of the talking points included in the uh, study. And I will end with a conclusion to move, for, to move forward. Here was the preparation for the uh, new uh, research and development agenda. So as a basis, we made use of the national uh, agenda proposed by the Department of Science and Technology in 2017 to 2022. And to align that, uh, we also consulted the Mimaropa Regional uh, Research and Development Agenda dated uh, 2018 to 2022. So moving along, the objectives of the research on local history and cultural literacy are as follows. One is to produce an anthology of Marindocan and local history, ethnographic and local studies. The second one is to provide a companion multimedia package uh, involving visual journalism, photo and video documentation. A third objective is to coordinate with the Department of Education, Division of Marinduque and selected pilot schools uh, in the province. Uh, second to the last is to collaborate with the National Commission for Culture and the Arts through technical assistance. And finally, the last objective is uh, to disseminate collected and generated content through different platforms such as print, multimedia, and online. The next slide will show the uh, framework that was used in the study. So in 2016, uh, I proposed uh, a program called Marindo Canon Cultural and Art Studies. And this program would be composed of different projects in preparation for the centennial celebration in 2020. So two projects are as follows. One is Marindo Canon Local History Project in collaboration with DepEd, Marinduque, and the School of Education, and also involving uh, the Office of Media and International Affairs. The next project would be Marindo Canon Cultural Literacy Dictionary Project with the School of Arts and Sciences and the School of Education. So both uh, projects would come into fruition and would be able to produce a number of uh, publications. I would like to begin with a monograph, a series of monograph. And uh, the companion piece would be a talk series. So nowadays, uh, this kind of series would be uh, transformed into webinars or online lectures such as this one. And the full provision of this uh, project and program are specific activities by uh, 2020 when Marinduque was a re-established uh, province uh, separated from the Quezon province then. Uh, so all our programs in culture and art studies and our projects in local history and cultural literacy uh, would culminate by 2020. So every semester we propose a work plan. So we started in second semester 2018-2019 uh, before the actual uh, celebration of the centennial. So we proposed and we submitted and revised uh, our proposal by January 2019, so in time for uh, the centennial. So we had an inception meeting and orientation on culture and art studies 
by February, uh, exactly one year before the uh, centennial uh, celebration. So we involve our stakeholders from the School of Education, Arts and Sciences, Department of Education, and other uh, local culture and arts group. So we came up with an action plan and we uh, divided the task accordingly. And after uh, the action planning, we documented and generated some content in the towns of Buak, in Gasan, and also in uh, Santa Cruz. But since we have an existing culture and heritage uh, mapping in Mungpog and Buenavista, we also uh, coordinated with the towns. And we consolidated and came up with the progress report in June 2019. And we have a uh, rough draft and soft launching by uh, the following month in July. So to continue in the second uh, semester, we already uh, proposed and submitted and revised our uh, plan, but with some modification. So we also uh, continued with another set or round of meetings on culture and art studies. Uh, we also had uh, the same flow with uh, an action plan and uh, we generated uh, some content and documented our uh, meetings and we came up with a wrap drop and we had it launched by uh, December. So to continue our work plan, so it's already a second semester 2019 to 2020. So we evaluated our previous uh, output and we finalized it by January 2020. So we consolidated what is available because uh, some of our uh, conduit, our partners uh, had some concerns with their copyright and their uh, intellectual property. So we need to uh, firm up and we only came up with a couple of uh, draft and we launched it last February 2020. So hence, we came up with the terminal report by March and we evaluated and planned ahead by April and May uh, this year. So the results and discussion, I'd like to share the initial survey that uh, we did. So our target is to determine whether or not there are copies of history of Marinduque in the library, in the municipal library in Buak, there was none in the provincial uh, library and also in Buak, there was uh, not one uh, copy of the history of our province. Uh, we also visited the DepEd uh, Library Hub in uh, Don Luis Hidalgo Memorial School and sad to say there's no copy as well. So we proceeded to other library hub in other uh, district in Santa Cruz, in Gasan, and also in Torrijos, but uh, the same was, uh, uh, the same finding was uh, determined. There was no copy of History of Marinduque either by uh, Ramon Madrigal or Perfecto Mirapuente. So our uh, partner, uh, we were uh, fortunate enough to get a technical assistance from the National Commission for Culture and the Arts on local history writing. So this took place in September in coordination with the Office of Media and International Affairs with the School of Education and the unit of uh, Centro ng Wika Cultura under Commission sa Wika Filipino. So this was all about local history writing and our audience were students, uh, faculty members and some uh, stakeholders. So moving on, uh, by November, uh, we organized a cultural literacy, education, and sensitivity uh, seminar with our teacher scholars who are uh, done taking the graduate diploma in cultural education. And also we had uh, our first batch of the GDCE uh, alumni and they talk about uh, cultural education and cultural uh, literacy. So not only local uh, history, but also cultural uh, literacy uh, dictionary. So in November. And this was the output of our uh, local history writing. It's already a publication by Ramon Madrigal, 
uh, entitled History of Marinduque in 1963. And uh, we were able to obtain a manuscript, a typescript a copy of this uh, History of Marinduque. So we encoded it and we uh, put it in a new layout and came up with a new cover and republished it with uh, annotations. So this history of Marinduque is intended uh, for the municipal library, the provincial library, and the debt ed uh, libraries and library hub in the other districts of Marinduque. So the next uh, output is we also republish the uh, another history of Marinduque book authored by another uh, uh, researcher, uh, Perfecto Mirapuente, uh, who is not only from Buac but also in uh, Santa Cruz, one of the three original towns in the province of Marinduque. So he is a uh, well known. Uh, not only in the province but also in the uh, country as well. So he published History and Culture of Marinduque, which some of the excerpts are included in his uh, History of Marinduque. See, uh, he also contributed uh, for some artifacts that is uh, now displayed in the National Museum in Manila. And uh, it's very uh, significant that we are having it uh, republished in the centennial year of uh, Marinduque in 2020. So our uh, contribution to the republication of history of Marinduque is we try to uh, integrate both of the history uh, of Marinduque. Uh, we included the, the name of uh, uh, Marinduque before it was uh, uh, known as Marinduque when it was a uh, pre-Hispanic or pre-colonial uh, period. And also we included the name uh, of the towns, the name of Buac, the uh, name of uh, San Cruz, and the name of uh, Gasan, which was uh, established by the Spanish uh, friars. So Franciscan uh, friars and later on Jesuit uh, friars before uh, establishing their own uh, uh, visita or own diocese only in, in the 1960s. So we were able to uh, get uh, the consent from the heirs of the family of both Mirapuente and uh, Madrigal. So by way of conclusion, so we were able to uh, gather the history of uh, Marinduque and establish that there's no copy in the library. So we produced just enough copies of this uh, uh, history of uh, Marinduque and provided it in the library. And uh, good enough, uh, even it's, if it's uh, the time not uh, so uh, good times, during uh, the lockdown, we were able to seek uh, some assistance from the, the University of the Philippines. Uh, they have their Institute of Creative Writing and uh, they had this uh, program still ongoing called the uh, uh, Filipiniana Online uh, Library. So these are uh, the books that are uh, recently published already but is uh, shared freely online. So the Likaan uh, Institute of Creative Writing in UP uh, had this uh, flagship uh, program called Panitikan.ph which uh, published our excerpts entitled Mr. Pariduque uh, based on the book of Madrigal and Miracuente. So it was published in July 2020. So to summarize, uh, this has been the uh, production of the history of Parinduque during the first and the second quarter or the first uh, semester. And uh, we had the activity and the preparation to uh, come up with the history of Marinduque excerpts in the third and fourth uh, quarter of 2019. And uh, the following year, we were able to uh, have it uh, published 
uh, both in print and also uh, online through uh, Filipinian uh, online uh, library. So another fruitful and productive uh, offshoot of this uh, project is the formation of the Hearts Council. So the trust of this uh, council composed of the academic and private sector representative, uh, some from the church and the youth, uh, is to nurture uh, creative uh, economy and culture-based uh, industry in the province. So our first activity was uh, joining not only the celebration of Centennial uh, of Marinduque, but also uh, in celebration of the National Arts Month every uh, second month of the year during February. So we're able to disseminate our uh, output, the history of Marinduque through this uh, uh, partnership and collaboration. So we had an exhibit of uh, visual and literary arts. We were also able to have a performance uh, to the public before the time of lockdown. And we also had the free screening of uh, Marinduque uh, filmmakers. And uh, we had the uh, uh, some other uh, performances online. So when uh, March 14 uh, came about, uh, we're already through with our activities in the Centennial Week from February 16 to 22. So nowadays, uh, we're not yet uh, through. We're still uh, disseminating the result of this uh, research uh, output on local history and cultural literacy now with the partnership of uh, Cultural Center of the Philippines through the subsistence grant from uh, Kalinga and Sining Arts for Healing and Transformation. So we have a series of webinars. We already started last September 11 uh, regarding Araling uh, Marinduque. And by September 18, we're going to have a live uh, panel discussion about uh, film and cinema. Uh, called the uh, Cine Marinduque and next Friday we'll be having a roundtable discussion with uh, theater and performing arts uh, practitioners dubbed as Tanghal Marinduque. And by the end of the, this month, September 30, we'll have the Siklab Society uh, have their uh, online and electronic performance. Of course, following the uh, safety and health protocols. Uh, set by the interagency uh, task force of the government. So with that, I'd like to acknowledge our uh, uh, sponsors and our endowment. Uh, thanks to the research extension and development training for providing a financial uh, grant and endowment. And also we'd like to thank uh, Research and Extension Council for uh, accepting and approving our proposal, which was uh, approved in uh, last quarter of 2019. Uh, we also like to thank uh, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts for providing the technical assistance for sending a resource speaker in the uh, person of Dr. Celestina Boncan of the Subcommission on Cultural heritage on historical research. Also, I'd like to thank our colleagues and peers from the School of Arts and Sciences, our uh, counterparts in the School of Education, and also our technical uh, assistance from the Office of the Media and International Affairs, the hair and the family of both uh, Ramon Madrigal and Perfecto Mirapuente for giving us a consent to republish their uh, ancestors uh, publication and of course I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Uh, Carmelito Sevilla and Mrs. Elmer Sevilla whom I uh, was able to locate the uh, original manuscript of Madrigal in Marapuente sometime in 2009 and 2010. I was uh, fortunate enough to uh, get access and obtain uh, permission for the uh, reproduction of both uh, manuscripts. So with that, uh, thank you very much. Good day to one and all. Uh, happy uh, Saturdays uh, from me and uh, we'll continue again uh, 
for the next uh, presentation.